Let me begin with this proclamation. The Lord is with you. The Lord is indeed with us, Emmanuel. I am Father Paul Dunas. When it was announced that I was appointed Bishop of Pagalian, some began calling me Father Bishop. But I ask you now, please do not take away that Father in me. I am still Father Paul Dunas. You can still me. You can still call me father. In fact, I told my friend, I am still your father, Bong Dunas. I prefer that way. Bishop Joy, in his homily, remembered what Saint Augustine said. For you, I am your bishop. And with you, I am your brother. My being for you can be my damnation, but being with you is surely my salvation. It is said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Today, my heart is full, but I am almost speechless. However, I must still say something not only because it is part of the program, I consider it a sin not to utter words of gratitude, however inadequate, before the wonderful God with us, to you, wonderful people, and this wonderful event. Yes, God is present among us, and your presence on this occasion if such presence of God and complete expression. So I am deeply grateful to you all who come here today to take part in the celebration. I thank the Holy Father Francis for the trust and blessings he extended to me through the Apostolic Council as Bishop Gabriel Cassia, who do not present this afternoon is now be represented by Monsignor Arne Catalani. Monsignor Arne, please extend my gratitude to His Excellency and for that wonderful message. Monsignor Catalani and I were together during our Colegio Filipino days. Thank you, Monsignor Arne. Thanks to the bishops present among us, with us today are the following, and I ask dear bishops to please stand as I thank you to be recognized. I begin with my Archbishop, the Archbishop of Osamis, the most reverend Martin Hussain. Bishop, salamat. As you know, he is one of the consecrators with Bishop Jimmy and Bishop Mani. Bishop Martin, as Bishop Martin was my formator in the seminary, he was our dean of seminarians at the regional major seminary. Salamat kayo, as Bishop. I thank the newly installed as Bishop of Cotabato, the most reverend Angelito Lampoon. The Archbishop Emeritus of the Vow, the Most Reverend Fernando Capalia. The Bishop Administrator of Pagadian, the Most Reverend Emmanuel Cabahar, one of the consecrators. Bishop. Pasensya Bishop sa akong pagalamay na ngayon. No report na lagi ko sa March 25. <laughs> Salamat sa pagkatiman, sa katawan, sa pagkatiman Bishop. 
the Bishop of Mayfield, the homilies, the most reverend Julius Brunel. Bishop Joy, salamat sa inyo, pahinundong, and thanks for forming me into what I am now. Bishop Joy was my dean of seminarians and then rector at the college seminary. He was my professor in liturgy in the major seminary, and he was rector when I was also dean of academics in the major seminary. Bishop, salamat kaayot. The Bishop of Surigao, His Excellency Antonieto Cabarro. The Bishop of Malawi, His Excellency Edwin de la Peña. The Bishop of Malay Balay, His Excellency Jose Cabantan. The Bishop of Bicolo, His Excellency Severo Germani. The Bishop of Tabo, His Excellency Fidel Asenio. The Bishop of Marbel, Most Reverend Serino Alan Casicas. The Bishop of Mati, Most Reverend Abel Apigo. You know, Bishop Alan and Bishop Abel were my contemporaries in the major seminary in Davao. But Bishop Abel and myself were seminarians of Bishop Joy Tunnel. The Bishop Emeritus of Tanda, Bishop Mario Ochimar. Salamat Bishop. And the Auxiliary Bishop of Davao, Bishop George Rimando. Salamat Kai. And I am very grateful for the presence of the Bishop of the Diocese of Viva. Most Reverend Bartolome Santos, Bishop Clark Sarama. You know, when we attended a formation program, I was with Bishop Clark. He told me he will become the Bishop. And I told him, Mas Mahunata. And indeed, Bishop Salama for coming. Representing the other bishops who cannot come for one reason or another is the Secretary General of the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines, Father Marvin Mejia with Monsignor Bernardo Pantin. Thank you, Fathers. In the same manner, I thank all the priests and deacons who are with us today. My Daddy Tama priestly family. From my beloved Diocese of Vigos, Paliho Pindo. Salamat ka ayo. From the Archdiocese of Davao, Paliho Pindo. Thanks for coming. From the Diocese of Tabum. Salamat Usap. From the Diocese of Mati. Thank you. And my newfound family. 
listening. My brother, priests, and deacons from the Diocese of Pagadian. Ecclesiastic of Province of Dupin, Dipulo, Iligan, Pagadian, Humana. Thank you. Marawi. Salamat. I also thank the other priests from other dioceses and different congregations. I would like to single out my classmates in the St. Francis Xavier College Seminary. Palihog din doon ang mga classmate ng mga pari sa college seminary. Di siya ang joy mo ni nagpabuliyak sa imo mga sa una. Salamat ka ayon. And my classmates from the regional major seminary of the vow. Kung mga classmate sa remase. Salamat mo ay suun. And I would like to thank the presence of my past mates and contemporaries in the Colegio Filipino Rome. Father Rico Ayo of Manila is here. Father Rico. Thanks to all consecrated persons from different congregations and institutes. And I would like to thank the government officials with us from the two provinces of Davao del Sur and Davao Occidental and the mayors from the city and from the different municipalities. Salamat ka ayo. Salamat usap sa mga representante sa nagalain-lain ng mga parukya, JPTs, mga religiosong organisasyon o mga apostolado o sa tanan na ni Akarundinhi o bituyog sa atong kasahulutan. Ang mga hindi kumuman na kung nakawan sa Diyos, hindi sa diocese sa Diyos, ikan sa diocese sa pagkatilag, o tanan mga higala, kahila, kaanihan ni ikan sa mga diocese o kakidiocese sa Diyos. former teachers, classmates, and friends who come today. Salamat ka. God is with us. But He is more than just present among us. In the Old Testament, when God Himself introduced who He is as I am who I am, take note, He mentioned the verb am twice. To say I am means to be present. But God is not only I am. He is I am who I am. He is doubly present. He did not only see His people. He helped them in their needs. This is the deeper meaning of Emmanuel. God who is not only with us, but doubly present with us. When I mentioned to Bishop Jimmy that I wish to be ordained here in Digos, I did not realize how great and difficult is the work ahead. From the preparations to the celebration, even to the restoration. But these people did everything necessary to realize my careless wish. You made me experience that I am who I am. The God is not only present, but ready to help me. I thank the working committees for this event, the steering committee and the subcommittees, their heads and members, finance, the liturgy, and all its many subcommittees, secretariat, the accommodation, food, transportation, security, media, the area 
Relation and Restoration Charts Agenda. I thank all the parish priests and their assistants, the parish pastoral and finance councils, and all the parishioners for the support in mending and different way. I thank the seminarians who assisted us especially in our literature. I thank the Christina family who accommodated our visitors and welcomed our guests. I thank all the benefactors, the donors here and elsewhere. To my family, my parents and my siblings and the rest of my relatives. Thanks for being there for me, for the love and support. You accompanied me with your prayers since when I joined the seminary and became priest. All the more, please pray for me that I am now a bishop. I would like to mention with fondest memories my grandmother who nurtured this vocation in its beginning. She only hoped that I become a priest. Now, I am a bishop. She must have prayed too much way in her heaven for this poor, weak grandson. Lola, thank you. And I thank in a very, very special way our beloved father of the diocese, my main consecrator, my bishop, Bishop Jimmy Akabule. He did not only grant my wish to be ordained in Vigos, but he actively saw to it that everything is in place. By the imposition of his hand, together with the other bishops, you inserted me into the line of the apostles. Thank you, dear bishop. I will be forever grateful to you. Today is a special day, not only because it's my ordination, this is the day when Bishop Generoso Caminia, who confirmed me and ordained me as priest, was installed as first Bishop of Vigos. And if I'm not mistaken, this is also the day when Bishop Jimmy began the separately as our second Bishop. But lest we forget, today is the memorial of Our Lady of Lourdes who revealed herself as the Immaculate Conception, the Saint Bernadette Subiru, the Saint Immaculate Woman of the Miraculous Medal, whose this day happened to be my birthday. By the way, and as mentioned by Bishop Joy, I have made a few coats of arms for bishops. I did one for Bishop Joy, for Bishop Abel, and I also did that part of the coat of arms of Bishop Jimmy symbolizing the Diocese of Nicos. But you know, when it was my turn to make my own, I could not figure out what to do. And so what I did, I just copied from the miraculous medal that draws and the letter M. For me, Mary is the designer of my ministry and life. I am the servant of the Lord, the son of his family. Like Mary, I say, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. For he has looked with favor on this lowly servant. It may sound already at the same, because you hear it at every ordination and profession. But I say it again, for this is the truth. I am most unworthy for this dignity and ministry. This is the time when I feel very small and incapable. But this ordination is not about me. It is about God whose love and mercy 
into Sport Network. When I said yes to the call, because I trust He is with me. God is with us. Indeed, Emmanuel. Thanks to the Trinity. Thanks to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Thanks to Good afternoon.